Hi everyone, it's Danny. Okay, today it's time for a balcony tour because we actually skipped February, but you didn't actually miss much. So I'll make this short because I do have to go pick up a neighbor order. So I'm not sure when I have to go, but hopefully I'll get to film this. Alrighty, so the Dendrobium Aurora, do you remember him? Do you remember it was actually pretty green? Well, as the flower aged, actually it got pretty... Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> it got pretty yellow, which is nice, and the flowers are actually really, really large. I absolutely love this Dendrobium. I do have to repot it. I don't like the looks of things. Um, the roots don't look so good. One of the babies was mushy under the Spanish moss. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like the cane either. Anyway, it will be repotted pretty, pretty soon. Right, the Playoni orchids are starting to fade. They don't actually last too long, maybe a week and a half or two, and then they fade out. But I do have a few more buds, so I will enjoy them just a little bit more. They are pretty flowers, spectacular flowers, but they only bloom once and they don't last too long. If you think of other orchids, Okay, so I actually forgot to make tags for these girls. I actually picked the names, but I'll make a different video for that. Uh, some of you guys have told me that this is a... I really hate pronouncing this name, so anyway. The Bragera Lazio. Uh, I do know it. Thank you so much for um, hinting me to this name. The problem is it's not a registered name. It's just a commercial name. So us naming it, it's pretty much the same thing. So I will name this as well because you guys had some really, really cute suggestions. So if you're looking for this one, yeah, check the name Lazio. And I think it's spelled L-A-Z-I-O, something like that. But yeah, we're still gonna name it. It's, it's just too pretty not to name. And I don't like the name Lazio. Alrighty, the Vanda Orchid is doing great there. My Spanish moss is actually doing good. It's looking much better and hopefully it will bloom sometime soon because I do like the blooms of the Spanish moss. They're quite cute and possibly fragrant. Alrighty, let us move on. Okay, my orchids are just adjusting to the springtime, so they're just starting growths and so on. As you can see, the Sideria is producing yet another leaf here, so she's doing great. A cute thing about this one is that this tag right here, which says Happy Birthday, Thank You Volker, was actually glued to the other tag, so I just noticed it. This was a freebie for my birthday. Okay, moving on, the Leopoldi is doing good. The new growth is growing pretty nice, so hopefully this summer I'll have some blooms out of this one. Um, they're pretty boring right now, as I told you, they're just adjusting to springtime, so hopefully they will bloom soon. The Psychopsis is making a lovely bud here, so I actually missed the Psychopsis. It didn't bloom in my winter, which is weird. But anyway, uh, you know my seedlings, they're doing okay, trying to keep them more moist because it's pretty warm right now. Finally, my carnivorous plants are coming out of dormancy and starting to catch fungus gnats. I swear, the fungus gnats are attacking me at this point. Without my carnivorous plants, they multiplied so bad, but no more. <laughs> Alrighty, so the Tetraspis, oh, she's so frustrating. I don't know what she's doing. She's producing another flower spike here and this flower spike is a bit on pause I don't know what she's doing she really frustrates me sometimes okay nothing much happening here hopefully the maxillarias will bloom this summer uh, this one the offenses actually bloomed and she was really pretty but the tenofolia not yet and I'm dying I just want to smell her flowers and smell the coconut scent um, okay, you might notice there's something missis, missing here. It's my Serena O'Neill. Sad story about this one. She has a virus and I'm not sure what to do. But um, yeah, we'll discuss about her in a different video. Alrighty, other stuff here I tested. They're fine. They're okay. But yeah. Okay, going up. Oh, goodness. This is the Anosmum. Uh, he has two buds right here, one big bud right here, and an another tiny one right here. This guy is so wonky, it's not even funny anymore. But yeah, he will have some better care from my part this year. I'm not gonna abandon him anymore. The Gongora, you didn't see for a long time, and this is because it was kind of dead when I came back last summer. So yeah, hopefully she'll pull through, but um, she's not the hardiest one, I have to admit. Alrighty, moving on. The um, gold digger is still in bloom, still smells so nice. I'm so proud of this girl. She's beautiful. I love it. 
and also the Dendrobium nobilis. Uh, they're pretty much still in bloom, but these flowers actually faded, so they lasted about a month or a month and a half or something like that. On the other hand, the Yamamoto cross, the Akatsuki, he's going strong. That dude is vigorous. Alrighty, let's move on. Here we have another Cattleya. I didn't show you the flowers this year. This is the Cattleyanthe Rojo. She is absolutely beautiful. And surprise, surprise, you remember the Ohuriatum? He's not an Ohuriatum. He's something else. I think he's a Pierardi or something like that. I don't know, but he is adorable. Absolutely adorable. This flower just opened today, so I'm not sure if the colors will intensify or not. I'm giving him a few more days. He should be fragrant. Uh, not just yet, but again, I'm giving him a few more days before I make a video on this dude. But he's just so cute. I cannot believe it. I was pretty sad when I saw it this morning, uh, just opening up. It, looks, it used to look like this. And I was sad it was not an Ophriatum, but I love him. I Oh my goodness, look at these petals. They're they're translucent or something like that. Ad adorable little guy. I love him so much. And hopefully he has a fragrance. Alrighty. What else? The uh, Epidendrum. He will bloom pretty soon. So I'm excited about him. The um, Paphiopetalums are really starting to grow really fast for me. Um, this is a new baby that came out in my care. Again, this has a new baby right here that came out in my care. They're growing really, really fast, which is nice. I've actually started to wire the Catacetum because, I don't know, it was just too shriveled. So he has quite a lot of long roots, so I started to water him. The Sideria. Ooh, I cannot wait to see her blooms. I can already see the pattern on the buds which is pretty. So hopefully in a few days, I'll have some blooms to show you as well. Alrighty, moving on. The Catatante Pacific Sunspots, he will be glorious, I, I suppose, this time. Look at the spike. It's gonna be full of flowers and also uh, this one. Yeah, he's doing really good, really great. The Nelly Eiler is there. Um, this shoot actually looks pretty good, but I do have some wrinkling of other shoots. I don't know, I don't know. It's, it, she's high maintenance, but I love her still. Okay, we have another shoot here. This guy suffered last summer as well, pretty, pretty badly. This is a cross with a Miltonia, so yeah, lack of water, not good. But he's producing a flower spike. Okay, what else is interesting here? Nothing much. The Oncidiums are actually doing really, really good. Uh, I have another flower spike on this guy. And the Kaisis is losing his leaves, which is very normal. But the new growth does not want to bloom. So I lost all hope. Everything. No flowers for me this year. Which sucks. But that's it. That's that. Alrighty, right here. Oh, this is the sick corner. But I do have some flowers here. Uh, this, these are the orchids that managed to barely survive this summer, so I kept them, but um, the ones that did, didn't really survive, they were lost causes I had to throw away. Anyway, a, uh, a Phalaenopsis, surprisingly here, I just love this one. She looks really pretty, so I kept it. And downstairs, Catlea's fading away, the Gemini Cricket Brassavola's growing, hopefully will bloom, uh, but yeah, she's producing so so many roots you cannot really see because i just watered her but yeah she is doing a nice root system and the last corner of my balcony the cymbidium is still in bloom but all the the initial blooms are faded he still has these blooms which is quite nice i have to show you this girl she's just so pretty uh yeah one of my uh violets african violets they're starting to bloom again so that's cool and up here uh some more um Oncidiums and a Phalaenopsis. This is the Leodoro, which will open pretty, pretty soon. So I cannot wait to feel her scent once again. And lastly, uh, the Vandas. They're not doing much, but hopefully they'll get into the blooming season. Also, the Calea Jungle Eyes. I didn't update you on this girl when I did the short her update. She's growing so, so well. Has a new shoot right here. Hopefully it will bloom. It didn't bloom so far, but it was winter, so yeah. Lack of light, I suppose. But I am telling you, these growths mature in two months, and I'm not even kidding. They go from little tiny shoots to mature shoots in two months. It's crazy. But yeah, it's cute. And the Angreca mentioned Berkia right there, doing nicely. And that's about it for this tour. I told you it would be short. 
So alrighty, thank you for joining. Hopefully uh, we'll have some more flowers now that spring is finally here and I'm so happy. I hate winter. So thank you for joining. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. You can leave me comments and suggestions and a comment below. And also if you just want to get in touch with me and share pictures with me, follow me on Twitter and you have the link below. Thank you again for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye.